BBC Radio Lincolnshire celebrating Lincoln's victory tonight with the hat-trick hero Chris Maguire. Chris, you might be wondering when you're about to wake up, don't you, after tonight? Yeah, I don't think it could have went any better, but um, listen, it's not, not just about me. Yeah, I got the goals, but I think it was a great team performance. It's been coming. Um, we've put the performances in over the last last few games, and I think we can we can see that, that it's coming on the pitch now. And, and we we played really well today. The first goal was that one of those where it was so sweetly struck you couldn't believe how well it struck it was. Yeah, listen, it just dropped, and <clears throat> I just thought like there was time to hit it, and I connected sweetly with it. Sometimes they don't gonna hit a sweet one at the weekend. The keeper made a great save, but listen, the, thankfully it gave us the, the goal lead in the game and. It gave us a good start and a good build on the game. Obviously the penalty was a, a huge moment. How much pressure was you feeling with everything that was going on around you? No pressure. Listen, I, I, I've played here for three years. Um, I know what it's like here. Um, great place to play football. Even better place to win a game of football. Um, but no, I've, I've took penalties my whole career and, and I was confident that I could find a net. And then that lung bursting run for the, the third, it was almost like you had a second wind out of nowhere. Thankfully it was at that time and wasn't later on because I cramped up near the end. But the last listen, as I said, it's it's a great achievement to get the hat trick. Um, but again, three points for the team and, and it's one that we can build on again. As you say, in, in the greatest sense you are a wind up merchant on the pitch. So when people are booing you and, and you get a reaction like that, that must be joy to you. Yeah, it is, but listen, I've got great respect for the Sunderland fans. I love my time here. It wasn't to be disrespectful to them. I hope people can see it in, in the way that I've, I've seen it because I thought I was hard done by the last six months of my career here. Um, and, and that's how it goes. That's football. We move on and we've got the three points and, and we move back to Lincoln. It was a real back to the wall performance at times today as well. We're losing Anthony Scully obviously through injury and not having many players on the bench. Did it feel like that as players that you were coming here with nothing to lose? Yeah, but we've, we've, we've done it over the course of the season so far we went to the so-called bigger teams in the league bigger stadiums and, and we've put performances in and we've, we're unbeaten against the bigger teams so again it was another game for us we knew what, what to expect they've been on a great run at the top of the league because they've been doing well but we know if we, we put a performance in we can do well and, and we can show that and a huge four days overall for the football club isn't it with that win at Oxford, against Oxford and then and then tonight does it feel like everything's been lifted in the dressing room that it, in terms of your league position you've you've lifted up but also your your home, your own personal feelings around the football club yeah listen the league position I wouldn't worry too much about that we, we know we've <clears throat> maybe been hard done by the, we've had a wee bit of uh, bad luck the performances have been good, we play good football and I think the position in the league's false, we know what we can do and, and we've shown that again today. In terms of the match ball, is it the traditional get it signed by everybody and, and get it framed and put up somewhere? Yeah, it'll be getting signed and no doubt my, my youngest son will be, be wanting that one as well, so that's for him.